right, everyone. Hopefully you went over um, 4-1 and 4-7 notes out of the textbook and stuff started to make sense. I just kind of want to point out there, um, this is the first that we hear, and I think it's pretty interesting as to why it works, um, especially as we begin in chapter 3. So um, we're probably not going to have groups on the assessments. Um, this is a chapter that has groups in it. We might cover very minor groups, but obviously without being um, face to face online learning. But let's just, I'm not asking you to prove this. I just want to show you why it's true that in any angle, angles one, two, and three would add up to 180. So the first thing we're going to do is um, I'm allowed to draw a line in. I'm going to draw a line to the point BD. And I know that line is going to be parallel to AC. So that's important. So the first thing, of course, is my given is that this is and that's it. We don't know anything about it yet. Remember, after I show you this first, and anytime I show you something with a triangle, you can tell me that one and three add up to one. So what's going on here? I can see that one is congruent to four. If these lines are parallel, which they are, so now I can say angle one going to angle four. Okay, why? What are they? Alternate interior angles. Okay, and I can say that angle three is congruent to angle five. Why? Alternate interior angle theorem. Okay. And now, or you, you know, they're not. So it's a very simple proof. Um, you did you do need to add that parallel line, but that's absolutely okay to do in proofs if you needed that. Um, okay. The next thing I'm going to give some justification to. You already went over this in your notes, and I hopefully you understand it. The exterior angle theorem states that if in a triangle the exterior angle that is remote which means not next to, not in linear pair to three, these two angles, one and two, have to add up to the same value as four. And it's a very, very easy concept when you have values, like, for example, if I put 60 here and 40 here, I absolutely know this would have to be 80. Well, if that's 80, this would have to be 100. People feel like they can remove variable expressions. Um, then we have to use Okay, so here I'm just going to show you why this is true, why the exterior angle theorem works. So from here on out, after we show why, then you're allowed to use it anytime. So again, I'm going to draw ABC is my given. And now, right above. right
And we proved the exterior angle theorem. Again, not something you are going to have to, um, you know, give back to me, but it's in our notes if we have questions on it. And now hopefully you have a better understanding as to why they work. All right. I would like you, I, I would like you to go through these by yourself. And um, number four, why is an auxiliary line used and how? Um, don't worry about it. Let me already talk about it. You, an auxiliary line is a line with an arm to help you. Okay, so if you need that. Um, you can use that. Okay, so go ahead and try one, two, and three by yourself. Pause the video and then come back. Theorem is a proposition or definition of a theorem and your effort has to be a proposition. For example, the theorem is more important. Okay. A corollary is a result that is used in short to utilize principles of the theorem. So what it is is you prove something and then you can follow it up with a theorem that you say has a power then we'll show you also if you can go back to your textbook a corollary to a theorem is a statement that can prove easily um, using the th a theorem the corollary below is for triangle sum theorem so we know absolutely that all three angles in a triangle have to add up to 180 that's the triangle sum theorem well the corollary to it is somebody said this well if you have a right angle then the other two have to be 90 degrees. So it's almost like, oh, well, this is obvious. Yeah, it is obvious because obviously mathematically, if they have to add up to 180 and one of them is 90, the other two also have to be 90. Now I know the measured angle A. Thank you. 
little bit on why these things happen. Um, from here, I'm hoping you can just do some practice on finding stumps, finding exterior angles, and finding um, anything to do with isosceles triangles as well.